Hi, I'm back. And if we're going to do this, let's do this right. My name is Fi, short for Rifilwe. Koko Moyo. And to a select group, Kibabandlondlo. I'm curious. I vow to humor myself. I'm a creative. I'm the ideas girl. I'm quite funny and sarcastic too. I'm a mom of two, better yet four. A fiance to an amazing gent. And a daughter to my beloved parents and a spectacular sibling of three. I've been a healer since birth, initiated at 19. I've been at it for 15. I'm all grown up now. Thanks for bearing witness. The journey has been sweeter with you here. Others have to crawl before others can fly. And if we're going to do this, let's do this right. There's absolutely nothing I love more than someone who honors themselves, who humors themselves, who despites the noise of the world around them and the narratives created before them, they remember that their voice also exists and is equally, if not more important. I love a person who can drum out the noise and listen to what happens inside of them, listens to the tales of their dreams and listens to the voices of their ancestors, cherishes the words of their elders because they came before us. There's nothing I appreciate more than a person who's authentically true to themselves. It could be through the way you wear clothes, to how you talk, to how you move, to how you represent yourself. It could show in anything through art form, anything really. I honor people like that because there's so few of you that exist. While everybody is trying to be a photocopy of everyone else, you're forgetting to honor yourself. You're forgetting to really put yourself on display. Whenever life gives you an opportunity to showcase yourself, I hope and I truly, truly pray that you will show the version of you that's most representing of you. Because opportunities don't always come around and when they do them, they best find you ready. How do you become ready? By knowing who you are. I'm honored to be sharing myself with you for the third season of Isasendumbeni. Because I've grown, my conversation has evolved, my life has changed in the most beautiful ways and the challenges have only made me a finer version of who I was before. I appreciate all the ups and downs I had to go through, all the people that thought of me to be lesser than them, and all those people that revered me and honored me and celebrated me with me. I appreciate everything that I've had to see because all of it made her who you see before you. So if anything, and if there's anything you take away from this one shared video that's circulating on the internet, is remember to honor yourself. You're the most beautiful version that can exist right now. I don't know if you remember that every time you looked at your photo book, your gallery, and you saw a picture of yourself, you're like, I wish I was this skinny. Oh, I looked happy. Ironically, when you were taking those photos, you found flaws in yourself and you didn't think that you were that beautiful, that gorgeous, you know, that healthy. You didn't think that of yourself. And I find that in our lives, we always have to play catch up to ourselves because we're always living in a different belief system to what the reality really is. So I hope you truly come to meet yourself where you are. And if this version doesn't bring joy to your heart, then change it. Work on yourself. It doesn't have to be big doses every day. Let's be realistic. But how many choices do you make from the moment you open up your eyes in the morning? When you wake up? 
even the time you end up waking up is a decision how you wake up and you put your feet on the ground which version of you are you deciding on to how you navigate the day how you interact with people how productive or unproductive you become all of that are decisions we make on a daily so if there's anything that you feel is under par with who you want to be and what you want to showcase and how you want to know yourself as then make the change for yourself so we can also enjoy a more healed and evolved version of you i honor you i see you i hear you and i salute you so i've got this kid right Wano Abadim, who i've mentored and she was going through a really, really tough time in her own personal life. Husband issues, court cases, etc., etc. It was just very loud in her life and very stressful and tumultuous uh, to a point where it distracted her from the present. And post her initiation, when she does come to me, and we have chats about updates. Hi, how are you doing? You know, are we any further? Are you more settled, etc., etc. The one thing that she tells me is, Baba, I remember you told me that if I miss the present, I'm going to come back looking for it. I'm like, what do you mean by that? She says that I used to tell her and remind her that as much as life got loud and full of distractions and heartache etc if you have committed to doing something don't let that noise overpower the purpose of the period that you're in so if you can call you fit long and you're going through some of the most difficult times because i don't remember a single person who can go to fit long while things were hunky-dory I don't remember a single person who can go to fit home when they had bags of money in their pocket or whatever the case is or doing living their best life. I don't remember. I am yet to come across someone who was of that nature. If we look at Nakoli Fetlon and Utio Pela, despite how noisy life can be around you please try and be as fully present in that experience as possible because if you and your teachers and your ancestors have to contend for your attention you'll eventually meet the requirements and you will wisen up and but when you look back onto it you'll realize that i wasted so much of the time or I couldn't have given it so much more airplay. I didn't need to amplify how difficult it was because now it almost seems like I have a blurred memory of what it is that I just went through, which is also incredibly significant on its own. So whenever something is going on, please don't amplify the difficulty of the period because you know, that's the beauty of life. So as difficult as it is, and I'm not even trying to downplay how stressful and how taxing it is, but it certainly cannot take place over what is currently going on in your life. That change only, if rightfully done, happens once. You only awaken once. You can have more enlightened and elevated experiences, but you only awaken once in a particular form or fashion. So don't miss out on your ahas. Well focused on the leeching energy of negativity. I hope that helps. As the year draws to an end, I hope you can look back at all the things that you've managed to do or even managed to begin. Because even starting sometimes is a bigger challenge than to just maintain and flourish. Because we are in our heads and it's quite loud in there, to be honest. It's, it's 
not the most easiest places to navigate. So I hope you can reflect back on the things that you have managed to do this year. And I hope you're most proud because for that action to take place, it takes a big part of you and it takes a lot of courage. And sometimes I hope you realize that your biggest cheerleaders are not the people that are sharing a bed with you on your phone, in your heart, but they're of this world. So I hope you don't get discouraged because the people in your immediate circle don't see what you're doing. It's not for them. I hope you realize that it's not for them. It was never for them. By virtue of us sharing space with them, they benefit because when you do well, they do well. I mean, they deal with a different version of you and a positive version of you, but you do not do what you do for them. If you're making paper, obviously everything needs to result in some kind of gain, right? So if money comes into your pocket, your immediate family or your immediate collective around you benefits. But again, it's not for them. Like how your gift is not for you, but for others. If you understand that, then you will start approaching it differently and stop condemning the people around you for not jumping through hoops or coming out with placades and popping champagne in your name. Sometimes I don't even know how. Sometimes you don't know how to be happy for someone else because you don't know how to be happy for yourself. I'm told by someone really close to me that I romanticize everything. I celebrate everything. I'm under the notion that thank God I'm still alive today that I got to see this moment, that I got to achieve this moment. So hell yeah, I'm going to celebrate this moment. Because time is so fickle. We're robbed every five seconds in the world. So why do I think I'm any different? So in reflecting back on the year, I really hope you take a moment to smile yourself at yourself, look yourself in the mirror, high five yourself, and like, if you smoke weed, roll the fattest joint. If you love your bubbly look, chill it, put it on ice, so you can watch those bubbles come up and you toast it to yourself. I really hope that you celebrate yourself more then the expectation is that you others celebrate you. Because anything that is left for the external will be left open and vacant and hollow on the inside. I get about it if you live for praise, you'll die by criticism. So that can never be us, Sana. Considering as painful as it is, we acknowledge the feelings, learn the lessons and let go. Give it back into the universe. Okay, take what's yours. Please do enjoy a series of photos I'm going to share with you guys. In, be sure to comment and let me know on conversations and topics you'd like me to talk about. As I said, I'm no longer talking about how to become a healer. I'm talking about how to experience your best life as a healer. And Benyako in your own space and I'm going to explore on that more in the coming episodes so that's what i'm going to be really digging deep on and inviting more guests so we can talk about it from different perspectives because i know my perspective is not the only one do share the video and let everybody know that your favorite girl goes back online and on your screens and importantly do subscribe the age of being afraid of people knowing what content you're consuming is way past us Please make the channel grow by subscribing. It's very important to me and really I'd appreciate that. And that's the one show sure way you can show me love. That has been my chat with you this afternoon. So was that.